Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah, if this is your first time here. Today's video, I am doing a little game with the brand new Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I got this for my birthday and I'm so excited because I love, love, love Auntie Jackie and I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like the perfect collab. I don't care if the palette was literally like puke greens only. I was still wanting it because I have to support my girl Jackie so and today I'm gonna be playing this game where I just pick random numbers and each number is assigned to a shade in the palette and the four numbers that I pick out I have to use those corresponding shades I saw Alyssa Ashley do this video I don't know if it's originator is somebody else um, let me know if someone else did create this video so I can give them proper credit but I did see Alyssa Ashley do this the other day with the Norvina palette so instead of picking numbers out of a hat I use my random list generator online like I have used before and I picked four shades and you guys will see what we get and the look that I create <laughs> So if you guys want to see this video and you want to see me using the Jackie Ina palette with the random colors that maybe don't go together as well, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is the Jackie Ina palette. I've used it once and then I was like, let me just like use it another time on the YouTube. So I have it in its packaging still. This is gorgeous. Like look at the way the light just like hits this. It is gorgeous gorgeous so I'm gonna open it up for you guys I'm sure you guys have already seen this it's not that brand new but I got it for my birthday let's just she is gorgeous check it 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 so this is what she looked like she's cute or whatever holding it upside down all right so this is how the palette is normally held and these are the shades so I'm gonna number them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so they're gonna go this way from left to right um, so I'm gonna pick four shades on my random list generator on here so here we have her I just put numbers 1 through 14 it's gonna give me all of the numbers but I'm only gonna look at the top four numbers so we're going to randomize. Alright, so I got number 10, number 9, number 2, and number 1. So, let's look at her. So number 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I got Wigglies. Thank God I've been dying to use this number. I also got number 10, which is Shookington. Oh, dear God. And then, ooh, brush is out. And then I also got number 2, which is Supreme. And then I also got number 1. So I got Soleil, Supreme, Wigglies, and Shookington. A lot more shimmers than I had wanted, but we can deal with one matte. That'll, it'll be fine. It, it will be fine. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go in with Supreme first. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in with Supreme and put her, put her all over. The pigment is there, of course. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. Of course the pigment's gonna be there. I am having some fallout here, so we're just gonna dust her away. No biggie. Fallout is fallout. Ain't no problem with that. And she blends it beautifully. I wish I could, like, add another color, deepen it up, you know? But we're, we're gonna go with what it says we gotta do. And the pigment for this pink is really good. Surprisingly, like, usually when I do, like, bright colors, I'll put, like, a white concealer all over my base won't even set it and then I'll pack it on and then do like little blends but I'm just going in like traditional blending of just applying it to my eyelid that's already set and just blending her out with a big blending brush and it's working perfectly I think I'm gonna cut my crease I'm going to use the ColourPop no filter concealer and I'm gonna cut my crease we're gonna see where we're going with this because I honestly have no idea Okay, we got one cut crease. Okay, so we have two cut creases. <laughs> now I'm going to apply wigglies all over, so I'm going to wet my brush. We're gonna see how wigglies applies weight. 
I'm very excited because I've been wanting to use Wigglies for like the longest time. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. My brush is a little too wet. Wow. I got some fallout happening, so I'm going to keep dusting her away. Alright, so we have just pink with red. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with Supreme and just we got Shookington, but I don't know where to put it. I guess I'm gonna put Shookington right here on this outer corner because it's a little bit darker, so it's just gonna give us like a we're just gonna do a little ombre effect. I feel like this is such a Jackie Ina look, but I guess that like makes sense because like it's her palette, so I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more Shookington. Okay, we're looking cute. Now the last color we have to use is Soleil. And I'm going to apply her right in here. Just like that. And this is what we have so far. I'm going to do the other eye now. I'm getting a lot of fallout. I'm like, oof. So just so you know. And I'm going to put Soleil like right in the middle to kind of give that little highlight. All right. So the eyes are done. This is what we have. She's cute. She's pink, you know. Now we're just going to use some liner. This is by Duce, 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 I don't even know. I always say Duce, but I'm just going to use our graphic black pen liner. All right. My suggestion is do this, use these eyeshadows before you do your whole face because there's a lot of fallout and I don't want you guys to mess up your base. My makeup is just not having it today. I'm having some pretty bad luck. I'm gonna put on some mascara. All right, now I'm gonna apply some falsies, finish the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I applied some lashes and I finished the rest of my makeup off of camera and this is the gorgeous eye look that I got using the shades Soleil, Supreme, Wigglies, and Shookington. So I had so much fun doing this. It was a little challenging because it was not as many mattes as I would like. It was mostly shimmers, but I think it came out really good. I wish I could like deepen it up a little bit more with the brown, do a little bit more. But I thought it was a lot of fun doing this, and I had so much fun. Um, it really took me out of my comfort zone when it comes to colors and mixing them. I would have never mixed Wigglies and Shirrington together, and I'm very happy with the way it came out. It was so much fun. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if there's any other palettes you guys would like me to do this with, let me know below. I would love to do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified every single time that I post a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!